Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel and blog. I'm an sta independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you can check me out at uh, KathleenStamps.com and today I thought I would show you this really elegant wedding card. So easy to do and it's just made very simply um, done with the silver embossing powder, some silver glimmer paper, and using the Big Shot to cut out the Dove. So the stamp set that I used is the new Serene Garden by Stampin' Up! And I used the matching uh, framelits, which are the garden scene, and I used the Dove to cut out the Dove. <laughs> so let's get started. A couple of things that I wanted to point out. Um, all of the measurements for the card, you will find them on my blog at KathleenStamps.com and there'll be a link down below the video and we'll take you there for all of how I cut them, how I, all of the different products I used and anything that you, any information you might need. And if you want to purchase these items, there will be links that you can click on that will uh, enable you to do that. One of the things I wanted to point out is the new glimmer paper that Stampin' Up! has in our new 2018-2019 um, annual catalog. The new glimmer paper is fabulous. I've always loved glimmer paper and have used it forever, um, but the drawback to the old glimmer paper is the fact that you get glitter everywhere. It's kind of hard on your cutter when you put it through. It's kind of hard on the blade. And it's really thick and can sometimes be very difficult to cut out with the Big Shot. So the new glimmer paper that we have, amazingly, does not shed. You can rub right over this and there's no glitter anywhere, which I really like. The fact that there's no residue. So um, it cuts really nicely. It's much thinner and so it goes through both your cutter and the Big Shot die a lot easier. And I just know you're going to love it as much as I do. So let's get started on our card. So we're going to take um, a thick Whisper White and it's four and a quarter by eleven and it's scored at five and a half. And then I'm going to take um, a smaller piece of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp my floral element and I'm going to be using the Versamark. Oh, this is a really great, if you've not embossed before, the Versamark ink is a sticky ink and so when you apply it to the cardstock what happens is it um, it leaves a sticky residue so the embossing powder fits. Oh, and the first thing that I want to do, and I'm always forgetting to do this, is to run over with my embossing buddy. What this does is it reduces the static and so you're less likely to get um, embossing powder all over everything that you're doing. So now that I've done that, we're just going to take this car or take the stamp and we're just going to stamp this right on the cardstock. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I get good pressure everywhere so that I'm able to transfer that ink uniformly to my cardstock. I'll just take that off. And now what we can do is get our embossing powder and we can go ahead and sprinkle that on. And yes, that is rice that you see in my embossing powder. And the reason I have that in there is that sometimes in my climate, um, the embossing powder gets um, kind of, um, well, I don't know what to say. It, it gets, it clumps together. Bella, excuse me while I remove my cat. Okay, um, the embossing powder sometimes clumps up and then it doesn't go on universally or uniformly. And I uh, found a tip by someone who recommended adding the rice to your to the powder, and I've not had that problem ever since then. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm just gonna take off this little smudge that I have right there and put a little more powder on. 
tap off the excess and then we'll go ahead and heat emboss this and you probably don't need to have me talk you through the whole thing so I'm just gonna speed up the speed of the video and we'll go ahead and I'll be back in just a second okay I'm back as you can see by using the embossing buddy we didn't end up with any little splatters anywhere and so it's really important that every time that you use that your emboss that you heat emboss that you go ahead and use that embossing buddy first by cutting down on the static you'll get a much cleaner embossed image so now we're just going to attach this to our black cardstock And I'm using the Tombow glue because it gives me a moment of what I call slip time. It's that little bit of time that you can move your cardstock around so that if you don't lay it down perfectly the first time and get it exactly where you want it, you can, um, because the Tombow glue remains wet, you have some slip time, which I find really, really important. Now the other neat thing about this new embossing or glimmer paper is that it um, it's easier to glue down. Um, the glitter, I think because of the fact that it doesn't fall off, is a much finer glitter and so it's easier to use to um, glue down. So where before I was always having to do that little trick of punching out the holes using um, the dimensionals and now you won't need to do that so we can go ahead and glue this down and it just goes on so nicely this paper is awesome. How many times can I say that? I probably have already many, but you are going to just love it. And I hope you'll take the time to purchase that paper so that you can discover how great it is like I did. Now what we're going to do is we'll just glue this down and we're almost done with our card. Fast card today. So easy and so elegant. I just know that it would be greatly appreciated by any couple that you send it to. Okay, so we glue that down. Now the last thing that we want to do is we're going to take um, and do our dove here. So on a separate white piece of paper, I'm going to use the Versamark, excuse me, I'm going to use our black memento ink and we're going to stamp the dove. Okay, I'll just get this down. Good even pressure. Make sure that the ink is evenly transferred to your cardstock. Okay, now one of the new things, other new thing that Stampin' Up! has come out with in this catalog is our new chamois. This is a product that is to that you can clean your stamps with. I love it. I've been using a product similar to this for several years and have just really enjoyed using it. And now that Stampin' Up! is making one, I just think this is great. So this is a piece of chamois or of material that's like a chamois. And what it, you do is you just moisten it with just water and it fits perfectly in one of our stamp cases. So all you're going to do is run it under your tap under your tap and then squeeze it out really good. And when what I do is after I've stamped, I just stamp off the excess and then you just go right onto the chamois and it cleans your stamp perfectly. And yes, it will stain. This chamois will pick up the color of the ink that you're using and it will stain it, but it does not diminish the effectiveness of the product. You just need to get one of these. And there is a link to it out on my blog. 
Okay, so now what I've done is I ran this through the Big Shot and I cut out my dove and I put, you know me, wink a it to death practically. How shiny can we get this little dove? So I've got wink -a all over it and then I'm going to put on some dimensionals. And I'm going to use a combination of our regular and our mini dimensionals to hold this up, lift it off of the page. I really like our new mini dimensionals. They came out last year and they, they're just so nice because it enables you to get into small areas. Um, yes, you can take a big dimensional and just cut it up, but this is nice because you don't have to. And then you can get all of these little tiny areas elevated. Okay, I think I'll just put one more right here. Well, I hope you're enjoying the video and that um, you will leave me a comment. I really enjoy all of your comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will. And um, if you go out to my blog it, with KathleenStamps.com, and there's a link below the video to do that, I would really love it if you could go out and read my blog post and leave me a comment. If you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. You can just let me know. I'll get you a, cal a new catalog sent out to you and hopefully we can have a long-term relationship with, as, my dem as my being your demonstrator, f the demonstrator for you. If I could talk today, oh my gosh! So we'll go ahead and we'll put on our dove and then I think I'll put on a little couple of rhinestones just to complete the look and give it just a little more pizzazz alrighty there we go well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll go and make this card. See you next time. Bye.